Hi guys, I'm back with this huge beautiful tutorial and if you'd like to see how I did these Miami Vice inspired retro nails, then just keep on watching. So I started the day before on my Bliss Kiss Miracle Mat and I'm putting down some White On by Sally Hansen and then I'm gonna go over it, you know, on half of this rectangle that I'm making it with pink. My camera was acting up like this entire day so there's big chunks of information missing and then a little bit lower on the mat I'm using this LA Colors Sea Foam to create little squares a little bit bigger than the size of my nail because I'm going to stamp over this so I used the Moyu London tropical plate and these flamingos and the reason I'm stamping on the mat instead of straight onto my nail is because I needed to line it up I didn't want to lose the pink in that blue so I had to use the white first and you see how precise I have to be to make sure that those pink flamingos fall right where they belong here's that pink rectangle this is already the next day after everything's dry and I'm just playing around with my hand under the mat to soften it up without cracking anything because if I go in with that wooden stick it's gonna crack just like that and then I'm grabbing a scissor and I'm going to cut it to make pink triangles and white triangles. Here's my index finger and I'm going in with a second coat of that sea foam color to wet my base so that way I can put my color block triangles on top and I'm going to try to use minimal pressure because I want to get all the edges down correctly but I don't want to push into that triangle or I'm going to create a ridge and a bump in that first base. Then I'm going to go in with a brush dipped in acetone or soaked in acetone and I'm going to brush away the rest of the triangle which took me forever. I should have put latex instead. After that was done I came in with a tiny brush and more of that white polish and I was going to draw some zigzag lines. Now here's where my camera went crazy again and turned off but to draw the pink line I did another white line and went over it with pink after because I wanted the pink to pop and not get lost under that blue. Here on the middle finger again I'm doing a second coat of that seafoam color for full opacity and I'm going to wait for it to dry and even put a top coat on it before I put the stickers. I'm using these What's Up Nails palm tree stencils and I'm not using the stencil part but rather the sticker part and the sticker was like not agreeing with me and like sticking to my finger rather than my nail but after I got it down it was all good. Um, there's small palm trees and big palm trees and then I got some black polish and went over on the bottom to make like a little island. Lastly, on my ring finger, I'm going with a layer of latex because I don't want to spend so much time cleaning up like what I did with my index finger. And I'm going to put another coat of that sea foam color to wet the base. And I'm going to stick down that flamingo decal that I had made before. And then to squish it down and actually like keep it down, I'm using my stamper head because if I was going to go in with my finger, I feel like I would get ridges and just pushing down really hard on that stamper is going to get even pressure on all sides of my nail. Then I'm going to soak the brush in acetone again, wet the sides so it starts to loosen up and melt and then go in with a cuticle pusher to try to separate as much of that as possible without damaging what's already on my nail bed. And then I just peel the whole thing right off. Lastly, as always, use plenty of top coat to seal in your designs, and that is it. Thank you for watching, don't forget to leave comments and like and share and subscribe and all of that good stuff, and I hope you have a great day.